did laugh. That's nice. When you sat up there, you lifted up through your diaphragm and in front, and you lifted your hands up, and she then just went a bit floaty, which is lovely. This morning, I'm on my way to teach Chloe again. She's um, entered a B80 with her 14 hand Connemara pony. Um, so we're going to work on dressage this morning. The test for this event is um, BE92 2009. Um, it's not too difficult but I've not seen Chloe and her pony do dressage before so we'll see. It should be fun. Oops my camera's falling out. There we go. Um, <clears throat> yeah it should be good. Um, pony can get quite hot um, so we'll be working on nice relaxed even rhythm ground covering paces um, and we'll just see how it goes and obviously accuracy with transitions and circles and, and things like that so um, I don't think there's anything too difficult in the test it's just a matter of accuracy and you know the collective marks at the end will be important as well as they are in all of the tests but um, I'm actually going to flip the camera around in a minute because the scenery um, is about to be lovely. This road that I'm on has a fantastic view of Inverness um, from up on the hill so I'm going to pull over, flip the camera around, show you the view from up here and then I'm going to switch off until I get there. A bear? <laughs> so you've really got to make a, um, a really visible difference between your circle corners and your corner corners. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like you, when you're circling, you've got to go right into the corner before C and before A so that the circle looks really different. Yeah. As you're coming around. I've got to just fold this so it doesn't flap. <laughs> anyway, have a canter at some point and Oh, she's so different on the flat, isn't she? <laughs> So just practice the movement, canter all the way up to F and trot to F. See how accurate she is with the downwards. Oh, nice. She's nice and balanced, actually. She's feeling amazing. Touch yeah, she looks really good. So Let her trot forward a little bit. Okay. So Let's, all right, change I the feel, rein. What I feel with her yeah. is either because she's so small yeah. and she's 4 in one Yeah. I'm used to the big horses. Yeah. So I'm like, let's do the movement. And yeah. it's big and it feels big. With her, when I push her big, it She'll feels rush. Like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I get told that I rush her. Yeah. But it's no, not she's got to I'm trot within her because I'm used to big horses. Right. But she's got to trot within her own rhythm. Yeah. And it's just getting your so head around. And then I'm trying to do a pony rhythm. Yeah. Where I'm like, she's too far behind the movement. Yeah. Because I'm because you're thinking, I'm right, her more so than I should. why don't you just trot her around on a loose rein for a minute and find well, out what I her natural rhythm is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, all right, that's fine. And because um, I just want you to, 
she'll give you her natural rhythm when you don't have a contact and then you can work on that. Can I see? She's like, <laughs> why don't you calm her mom? So, like, hey, 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 chill out. So this rain she finds difficult, this is her left. This is her falling out rain. So I think when you go into canter on this rain, you've got to really focus on using your right leg to bring her shoulder around the turn, and then you're going to get the correct lead. Oh, chill <laughs> out. That's it. Go, Lucy Lou. Just chill, buddy. Chill. There we go. Now that's more relaxed, darling. Good girl. That's it. So, if we stay nice and relaxed. Not a girl. Good lass. Okay, and then count around and trot at K. Just soften your inside hand. Let her flow a little bit. You yeah, use a lot of outside rain if you want, but just, um. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Just loosen your rein off. I want to see how she trots with, on, you know, like of her own sort of self carriage and all of that. Okay. She's got a very pretty trot, actually. I feel like. You're, you're all right. You're okay. You're in I control. Feel like I'm like, oh, sugar. Just change the rein H2, F. Just soften. Just keep it nice and soft and let's see what she. That's okay. See, this feels like rushing to me. Yeah, she's not really. Yeah. Um, there was a moment on the corner there where she did have a bit of a rush. Yeah. But generally speaking, it looks really nice. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't feel like that. No, though. no. So <sighs> it's getting. Because the problem is with her, when you were going around before, I know you were having to keep her steady to go into canter. Yeah. But she was under tracking by about this much. Oh. Um, so the, you've really got to have her tracking up. Um, is that because I'm holding her back a bit? It was because you were trying to keep her calm into the canter. Yeah. That was the least tracking up trot that you've done. Right. Um, but we've just got to work on, so you're, when you're going into canter, I think you're going to have to work on just being a little bit soft. Use like. your feet rather than your legs. So you're just easing her into it rather than, because when we give her an aid, she's like, yeah, let's. I know. But if you can just nudge with your seat a little bit rather than your legs too much and she's just going to flow a little bit more into it that's a beautiful walk just oh sorry <laughs> Touch my... there we go okay let's do if you just want to do the center line and the tracking right okay okay so if you obviously come up the outside and then down and track right, but make sure you no, really not, work in this that corner. Is straight, is it? I did it. Yeah, it's almost. It'll do. Don't worry about it. It's It'll fine. Have to work. It's good enough. Just, just you, what your focus is is obviously staying straight, and then you're tracking right at the end, right into the corner. But try and keep the movement forward and relaxed. Okay, so you sit back a little bit more. And you can do a lot more steering. That's okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to move, don't worry. <laughs> that was quite straight, actually, once you got organized there. Right into the corner there. Okay, good. We're circling at B. Okay, so just try and think, keep your upper body nice and upright and steer. I'm going to watch her circle shape, actually. Bad. And then that's nice actually. Okay, a little bit too soon to the track there. Okay. If I'm going to be picky. Um, just come and do. We won't do the rest yet. Just come and do the circle again. Um, you need to hit the track literally two steps before the marker 
yeah. and leave the track two steps after the marker for you, when you're so obviously at B when you're doing it at B you just come past your body has to come past B and then you need to be turning after so let you hit it and go so you hit as you go past it yeah. you've got like a couple of steps before you need to be away again coming across and the same when you're sort of hitting the track before E you want to hit the track just before it so that you're on the track as your body's going past it so you're really only touching it for then, that little bit of a curve there and it's the same when you're coming back afterwards you really want to be say the fence post before the marker uh -huh. don't hit the track before that okay so you, you obviously you've got your fence post after it and your fence post before it there so if you think you only want to be on the track between those two so i'll run over <laughs> <laughs> So you kind of want to come in about you're coming in here and you don't really want to touch the track until you're level with this post which puts you on here and then you want to be coming off already because otherwise what people do is they tend to because obviously it's a circle right yeah and so what people tend to do is they curve and then they've got a straight bit up the track and then they curve off again yeah so the whole thing's got to be curving the whole time Right, okay. Which basically means you're only on the track for a few meters at the most. Right. Okay. Um, so just do the circle again, and the just track. try and make sure each quarter of the circle is the same as the quarter before. Because I can see here, you sort of come out and round, and you're quite straight across the middle, and then, oh, Lucy, really? <laughs> just in a little. Just in a little bit special. That's nice. Just change your diagonal there. Okay, so just think your body goes past B and then you'll be turning. And that's it there. Okay, so make this quarter the same as the next quarter, same as the next quarter, and it's a constant curve. That's it. Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's much better. All right, now you can go large. You've got to change the rain K to M, oh, I believe. Right. Yeah. She might be easier if I sit. Up to you, but you've got to keep the movement because she's lost all her movement. And you, she might think you want to canter. Okay, just circle around because you've got to do your change of rain. She actually looks, that's better there. But she was actually looking a little bit more dong 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 when you were sitting than when you were rising. Oh really? And you've got to keep, she's not tracking up by about six inches. So, oh, we see. to keep the forward movement in the GP saddle, yeah. <laughs> when you're trying to sit, and she's a pony, it's quite difficult, I think. Um, just do a little circle here again, and then just go into trot and change the rain K to M. And then you've got to canter between M and C and a 20 meter Stop. circle at sea. But with your canter, Stop. try and sink her into it rather than use your legs into it almost. And so we'll just see, if it doesn't work, we'll do something else. But almost try and sort of sink her into canter. Okay. And also, especially as this is her falling out rain, make sure as you get to M, you're turning your body to look where you want to go. You're bringing her shoulder around and then just sit there and just use your seat a little bit. Go on. <laughs> All right, don't stress, don't stress. Just circle around. She's not used to it, obviously, so that's fine. Just do what you normally do. <laughs> she's just... She's just like, she's what, what, go money. faster? Okay, try again. Good. That was nice. Let her go, let her go forward. Right, circle here. So that, you don't need to go into the corner after C. Okay, and now you're not going into the corner before C, but you are going into the corner after C because your circle finishes there. So right into that corner. Good, that's good. Okay, and trotting at K. Good, trot on, trot on, trot on. That's it, make sure we've got to get her forward into the trot. Um, you're circling at B again. Right, just just see if you can get further into your corners. That's a nice trot. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to pull you up here because uh, 
because she didn't want to turn, yeah. you ended up going way up there before you turned and your circle became more like a square at this end. Um, so that's it. So just go large on the left and start the circle again at B as if you've just come back and you've trotted, you've gone canter to trot and all the way around. So I want you to know, that obviously you know she's going to fall out on this rain. So you're going to have to, as you get before B, you're going to have to prepare in advance here and start thinking now about outside rain and leg to turn her. That's better. Keep turning the whole time. Keep turning, keep turning. No straight bits. That's it. And again, here she'll want to fall out. So just turn. That's good. So you've got to prepare, especially after she's been on the track on this rain, to give her warning, we are actually going to turn, because otherwise she won't want to. That's good. Um, oh, you know what we forgot, don't you? <laughs> oh, can't her. Uh, we forgot the walk. <laughs> oh, fudge, sorry. We forgot the walk. Right. That's okay. Let's it's do fine. the canter on the bits. other rain, and then we'll do the walk transitions after that. We're doing bits by bits. It's fine. You're doing all right. You're not sweating yet. <laughs> I am. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, so you've done your circle. Yeah. All right, so I'll tell you, we can start again if you like, but the, cir the, the walk is after the circle at B on each rein. So you do the circle at B and then walk in between F and A on the right rein and between M and C on the, on the left rein. Let's do it and let's do it on the left. So do another circle and trot and then in between M and C, three to seven steps of walk. And then we'll change the rain and then you and then you canter after that. Right, I'll just start this circle here. Yep. That's it. So remember, just make sure you get past the marker before you come off the track. And just keep her on a constant curve as much as you can. No straight bits, no. That's good. There. That's quite accurate coming. Good. And hit the track just before B. There, good. Okay, so you're gonna walk between M and C. So let you go past them before you walk. Good, let her walk on a bit. Okay, go. Probably a bit too many steps, actually. Yeah. Only about one too many, but it's really dong, 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 trot. Yeah. <laughs> um, Need to prepare more for it. Okay, let's do that one again. We'll put it all together in a bit. So again, trot down, walk between M and C. Sorry. But what are we doing? Forge? So trot down and walk between M and C. Okay. And then you're going to change the rein and trot from H to F and then we're cantering that way. That way. Yeah. And trot. That's it. She almost wasn't in a proper walk. Yeah. She's a little bit joggy, so you've got to make a definite transition, but the trot is looking good. Okay, make sure your body reaches the marker when you're changing the rein. Okay, so the, the it's based on, the transition at the marker is based on when your body passes the marker. Okay, circling now. I'm right in your way. That's good. Okay, don't go into the corner here. And then into the corner afterwards and you're trotting up at H. And then at C, medium, so as your body passes, there, trot. That was nice, good. Walk at C. Good, and then MXK, free walk. <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> Okay, your body's got to pass the marker. But that's what my main focus is going to be. Just yeah, the, the accuracy is, is based on you, not on where her nose is. or I mean, I, I don't mean in terms of her outline. I mean, when you're going past the marker. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, medium walk again at K, and then down the center line at A, and then at X, halt. <laughs> Oh, nice. 
Nice hold. She was almost square. So just one hind foot was about I this much it. back, but it was bit. not. Same but it was nice. It didn't like creep into the hole, and she didn't fight you in front. She just went, wow. and her front legs were perfect. Right, I'm going to tell you this test. Yeah. Right from what I can remember, I will get bits of it wrong. I think. Do you want to read it first? I'm going to wing it. Go on then. See if I can do it. Enter then working trot. Yep. So you turn right. Yeah. Circle. At B. But being accurate. Yeah. <laughs> um. At B. Um. Is it? <laughs> oh, okay, oh no, the walk, the walk. Is that between F, F, and, a. F and A? So you do the, yeah, circle, so the circle and then you walk, walk in the corner. And a, yeah. And then pick up trot at A. Yeah. Well, after your three to five. Uh, three after two. your steps, yeah. you pick up trot. H, X, M, trotting, uh, change, yeah. change the rain. Yep. Between M and C, canter. Yep. Canter a circle at C. Yep. Then canter all the way down to K. Yep. K is medium trot. Working trot, yeah. Uh, yeah, working trot. And then you are circle at, circle B, at B. B. And then you're between M and C, your walk. Yeah. And then you're trot at A. Then you're uh, trot. At, yeah, and then your step. Then H, X, F. Oh, yes, you're right, sorry. Trotting. Yep. Um, Between F and A, canter, yep. canter, circle yep. at A. Uh, all the way to H. Yep. Between H, trot, C, walk. Yeah. M X K three walk and a yep. long rain. M medium walk. Yeah. Ah uh, no K sorry. K, medium sorry. walk and then X halt and salute. Yeah. Absolutely. Perfect. Perfect. Right. So just imagine, you know, this is not to eat. I promise. Um, your circles at each end. Mm -hmm. You've got to remember. So you say you're going to circle here. You've got to get into the corner here, mm -hmm. but then not here because it's got to look the same. Yeah. And then you obviously you're not going into the corner before you finished off your circle, mm -hmm. but you're going into the corner after. So into the corner before the circle, and then not. And then after. And then after the circle into the corner. Right, okay. Because the circle's got no corners on it. <laughs> so once you get to see, if I you're know, doing yeah, your circle. I have to tell myself that all Yeah, <laughs> you've got to go corner before the circle, mm -hmm. and then circle, and then corner after the circle. But don't go right into the corner on your circle, because that'll be like, it's an egg shape. When horse riding means so easy. <laughs> <laughs> and the transitions are good. Yeah. And make sure your body, when you're changing the rain across the diagonal, your body gets to the marker before. And then you want to be turning just after that, but you want to make sure you get past the marker before right. you're off the track. So basically, the only thing that's really, because I thought her canter was going to be my biggest problem. No, her canter's I lovely. think her, my problem is my accuracy. But to, always is yeah it's just it's, <laughs> it's just one is. of those things wasn't it it's like you've got to be bang on yeah. all the time well yeah because it will gain you marks obviously and that's what it's marked on rhythm yeah. technique um technique. and obviously once you've warmed up yeah and you've worked on the canter i think her canter in the test will be fine but her first canter on the well, left brain was in up. this wasn't it but you all have warmed up for yeah, However so long. she'll be she'll be because it's going to be in an open field. Yeah, she's going to be pushed forward. Yeah, so she'll be lengthening. Yeah, and then obviously what I do is I try to imagine where A X whatever it is. Yeah, and I try and ride a test w imagining there is yeah. tight corners for her to do that. Yeah. Um, but the key is you just got to prepare in advance because it does come up really quickly even on her even on a pony. Yeah, um, because it's a small arena, so you just got to go. Okay, I'm going to be leaving at B. On the left rein, she falls out. I need to have my aids all ready to go before I get to B, mm -hmm. so that as I go past B, I'm going to start pushing her around the turn. And don't, on the left rein especially, mm -hmm. you've got to be going, bringing around like like this with your outside rein and your outside leg rather than because as soon as you touch on the, on the left rein, because as soon as you touch your inside rein on the left, she goes bonk like this and bends and then does this yeah. so you can guide her with the inside rein but you've got to have the outside aids there as well to turn her otherwise you're just going to lose her shoulder and she'll be off up the track and then you'll be like oh man I know. and <laughs> the other turn. thing as well is just like make sure she doesn't um fall out enough that she hit the boards because you get serious right for that so yeah no it was perfect with regards to that, that problem, it was fine to be yeah no i think it's fine and the only thing you've got to also work on is a definite transition from trot to walk and back up to trot. How many steps are we saying? Three to seven. So, so I would be, I would go for three because you're going to get another one or two after you've asked her for trot, so three. probably, and you'll end up with five. Right, okay. I think. So you've got to go definite transition to walk, bong, bong. Okay, now we'll just, we'll just go. But you've got to wait for the transition, which is we might end up having to work I'm on gonna, that. Do you think me helping her half halting 
when I'm coming in. Yeah, absolutely. Get a ready just for it. So you know what? Be half halting just before M because you've got you need to have room to get your walk because you've got to be trotting by C and then you've got to be changing the rain and can't. so you want to get it done as early as you can really yeah. but you've got to be past the M before you do it okay um so I'd be getting a ready at M half out half out half out ah, now walk yeah. and then well I tell you the test one more time yeah go on I, do it. I feel like I'm gonna forget it and I'll be like Nick. you'll be fine right you'll be end fine. it in working thoughts see yep. turn left right no turn right <laughs> talking rubbish Right, I'll wing it. It'll be you'll, do, you'll be fine. Be and I'm going to just stand outside. Yeah. And then I won't get in your way. And then I'll just not say anything, maybe. <laughs> that would be really hard for me you, not to say anything. You won't be able to. I know fine. We'll I know see. Like. Maybe I'll say something. What do you want to see, no, nothing at all. <laughs> it looks nice. That's a good trot. Good corner. A bit late. Constant curve. Each quarter of the circle is going to be the same. Yeah, it was a little bit late. You've got a diamond there now. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's keep going. Good. Yeah, that was nice. Let her trot on a bit. Yeah, it needs to be a bit more forward. Yeah, into your corner there. Okay, bring the, her outside shoulder around the turn. She's really drifting on you. <laughs> Into the corner there. That's good. Your corners are good, actually. Like, she's quite agile. Into the corner. Sorry, that was my fault. <laughs> I was thinking about it, and then I didn't get I know, it. I know. <laughs> my brain went dead. There you go, there's a better one. That's a nice trot right there. <laughs> okay, so prepare early. Yeah. Keep turning your body so she knows she's going to be turn, 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 turn. That's it. That's it. Okay, try and get a little closer to the boards. Not by much, like a foot. That was better. And her upwards transition was quite quite nice. I mean, her head came up a little, but the actual trot that you got was really lovely. I changed my dad, not too. Yeah. Too. Yeah, because she wasn't quite established on your straight line there. Good. Okay, so not in the corner here, but definitely after a so ride as straight as you can now. And then turn. That's it. Good. Good. Too early. Yeah, it's okay. We'll practice again. You'll just lose a bit for that, but... <laughs> Good. That was nice. Wait till you're past them. I was a little bit later than what I usually do. I was thinking. Okay. I, I think you've put the markers too far up anyway, so you will be turning a bit earlier than, than you've got. Doing myself justice here. Yeah. <laughs> There's a nice corner for you, Nicola. 
Your corner's good. <laughs> corner's good. I want to see this halt now. Just. That's fine. You know, I think with the halt, when she leaves a leg behind, her front has been square both times. And when she leaves the hind leg behind, you're better off just leaving it rather than fiddling because then you'll get all the... I think, and I've got to give it to myself, right? Yeah. Her canter was not bad. It her was canter was relaxed. great. It was really nice. We just got to work on the, the transition, transition on the left. But the actual canter was beautiful, especially on the right. It was so rhythmical and just floaty and, and nice. It was really good. Um, it really is just the transition on that rein, mm -hmm. and it's also the shape of the circles because she wants to always yeah. do that. Yeah. Um, so you're almost better off not bending her so much on the left. And, yeah. and try and focus on and getting keeping the, the body round because she will naturally she naturally sort of bends to the left quite easily, yeah. but then it puts her out like that. So if you can just think of having her a bit straighter. Yeah. Then you'll have more control of her whole body. Um, give her a walk. We'll just do the canter again in a minute. Um, your walk transitions were good as well. Yeah. Um, and the trot was quite even. The only time you lost it was changing the rein. Yeah. Um, when it just went a bit like a sewing machine for a couple of strides. Because you changed your diagonal, like you said, a little bit early. Yeah. And she wasn't quite established on her, oh, we're changing the rein. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are my entrances as straight as they feel? They, you know, I didn't see this time from the front, yeah. but it looked good. But when I was at the front in front of her last time, it was nice. What yeah. I would suggest as you're entering, because you're gonna, you've been wobbling for the first meter or two inside the arena because of your entrance. Yeah. So I think you've got to like sort of come up the side and just think of you're going to come inside that pot. Okay. So you just turn like this, almost as if you're going up the centre line from inside the arena, but just turn like this and come in this way, because then you'll be straight by the time you enter. Whereas yeah. when you come around there, you kind of go, oh, now you've got to find the centre line and you've got to do... Yeah, this should actually be further back. But, but sometimes they don't. No. Sometimes they put it right there. Yeah. And then so you're best off really just turning inside of it, like you're doing a half 10 metre circle onto the centre line and, and sort of... Just scraping past it here like this. Yeah. And then down. What I might do, if it's okay with you, for her canter on her left, yep. is I will pick up trot and go KXM. Yep. That's what it was, wasn't it? Yeah. And then and then just do it. Hopefully she'll do it nicely because to be yeah. fair, she's actually, I've got to give it to her, she's worked really well. Yeah. She and has done brilliant. I'm really chuffed with her because she's not, she hasn't done a dressage test no. since last year. And I think if you can keep her as calm and as steady as that, and she's quite active in all her paces, so it's not like she's just doddling along. She looks nice. Yeah. You know, and she's quite steady in her contact and everything. So I think you'll do quite nicely. That was better, actually, already. Okay, turn the outside rein. Let go of the inside rein a bit and turn. I know that's doing Give that. a point. Just... Now turn your body. Give a pull on the outside rein and turn her. Good. We'll do that circle again. All you want with your inside rein is to keep her soft, but not you. Don't make the mistake of thinking your inside rein is turning her, because all your inside rein is doing is pushing her outwards. Good laugh. That's nice. Good when you girl. sat up there, you lifted up through your diaphragm and in front, and you lifted your hands up, and she then just went a bit floaty, which is lovely. Try again. Circle again. Bring the outside of her around. Soften the left hand. Concentrate on the outside. Good. Good. good girl. That's lovely. And then what you'll find is, yeah. that's good. What you'll find is when you bring the outside of her body round, because she's then correct, yeah. she'll naturally just drop her head onto the contact. Yeah. Where, oh. So you don't have to fight her. You've just got to, once the body's correct, the head will follow kind of I'm thing. I'm actually very chuffed with her. Yeah, that was lovely. It was really pretty. And it's just, you've got to be at the marker before you t do any turns. Yeah. You've got to hit the track just before the marker. She's got to hit the track just before the marker yeah. so that she's on the track as you go past it. Yeah. Um, and that's really it. Markers, corners. Thank you. And there. Uh... Yeah. That was really nice. And I think you'll score...
so that's it guys um thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and please remember to subscribe and like and comment um, and share this video around thanks ever so much we'll see you for the next one